Hello. Today, me and Javier will be, will be presenting Brent's method for root finding and the algorithm we created with it. Introduction. So what is Brent's method? In mathematics and in numerical methods, Brent's method is a method that combines bracketing methods and open methods to find the value of a root. Uh, the most common used bracketing method for this purpose is the bisection method. And the most common ones for that are open methods are the secant method and the inverse quadratic interpolation. Bisection method relies on the finding of uh, midpoints in the desired interval, whereas the secant method utilizes the secant line that unites both endpoints within the interval. So how did we model the algorithm for Brent's method? First, we chose a function, and our function was x times sine of x minus 1. And then we specified values of a and b, which is the range that the root can be found. And those values that we chose for this function was from 0 to 2 pi, from uh, 0 to pi over 2. And they must be input in the code, and you, they can be changed uh, depending on the user. And the code includes, uh, like mentioned, uh, inverse quadratic interpolation, the secant and the bisection, and it optimizes them to produce the lowest number of uh, iterations. And the tolerance that, was, that we used for this code was 10 to the negative 8, but this can be ch changed depending on the accuracy that you require for the code. Uh, also, we put in a number, maximum number of iterations to stop the code from running if it runs for too long. And, and this was set at 100 iterations, but it can be changed depending on the user preference. And, and if the maximum number of iterations is reached, we put in place a uh, quit execution and, and a message that appears telling you that you've reached the maximum number of iterations. Also, um, it breaks from the loop and stops the code from running. And also we then implemented if and then statements to make sure that the use of the correct method was in place. So basically if one method fails, the other one takes over and that's how it works. And uh, two figures were produced using this code and the, co the figures will be explained by Javier. Uh, lastly, we... Um, we, we created a table using the fprintf f function to display the different methods and the number of iterations and the values of the roots that we found. So for figure one, we can see uh, how it depicts the number of iterations and the root convergence for Brent's method. We can see that when the iter number of iterations is small, the root convergence is very irregular since there is no a there is, it, doesn't, it hasn't reached the actual root of value that will solve this particular function. However, we see that as it reaches seven iterations, the value is more consistent to, um, to the root value of 0 0.86033, and it goes all the way until 18 iterations. The reason why these are, uh, it reaches this flatness at, uh, I, at this high uh, number of iterations is because we have implemented uh, Brent's method to be at a high tolerance of one to the negative eight power. And therefore it will take longer to reach, um, to find the a specific root. So now in, fun in figure number two, we have plotted the function um, x times tangent of x minus one within the range that we decided that we were going to use for this um, method. This range goes from zero all the way to pi over two, which is why we only see this portion of the curve and not the entire function as it would be seen if we were to plot it for a larger domain. Lastly, uh, in the results section, we found in the command window, uh, the four listed methods that we used for, these, uh, for this particular project. So these include the Brent's method, IQI, 
secant and bisection, and we see how uh, they all converge at the same value of the root, which corresponds to 0 0.86033, meaning that uh, this value is pretty much correct because four methods uh, arrive to the same conclusion. However, we can also see how um, Brent's method was the fastest at 18 iterations, whereas the bisection method was the, the excuse me, the second method was the, uh, the one that took the longest with 41 iterations. So in conclusion, we can conclude that as Javier mentioned, uh, Brent's method is always the fastest because it optimizes the, all the other methods and it uh, minimizes the number of iterations. And it also it guarantees convergence, which is why it's very important to use this method over other methods. And uh, in the future, we hope that our code implements automa automatic iterations and root values of the of the other three methods. Because what we did is that we used separate uh, algorithms for uh, for IQI, the secant, and the bisection method, and then we implemented those into our branch method to compare. But in the future, we want to have all of them to compare which one is that best. Thank you for listening, and these are the references.